class today we are going to study about the poisonous nature of carbon monoxide and its reducing property so carbon monoxide as compared to carbon dioxide is highly poisonous gas by breathing in it it combines with the hemoglobin in the red blood cells of our body to form a stable compound called carboxyhemoglobin so when you breathe in carbon monoxide it will go and mix with the hemoglobin that is present in our red blood cells of our body and it forms a stable compound called carboxyhemoglobin which lowers the oxygen carrying capacity of red blood cells so the formation of carboxyhemoglobin lowers the oxygen carrying capacity of rbc this result in death due to suffocation which is known as asphyxia so so if the content oxygen carrying capacity of rbc decreases this can lead to death due to suffocation and a disease known as asphyxia asphyxia carbon monoxide from combustion fumes such as those made by stoves and the burning of coal can build up in poor ventilated places one can be poisoned by breathing in them so carbon monoxide carbon monoxide that is formed from combustion fumes such as those made by stoves and the burning of coal can build up in poor ventilated places so this can cause poison by breathing in them therefore it is dangerous to sleep in a closed room in a closed room with coal burning in it so this is the reason why we should not sleep in a closed room where you have kept the coal burning the common symptoms of carbon monoxide say for example if you inhaled this carbon monoxide then what are the symptoms or what kind of problem you can face the most common symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are headache dizziness nausea vomiting and loss of consciousness as well if a person is poisoned with carbon monoxide he or she should be brought out in the open air so if a person is poisoned by carbon monoxide he or she should be first brought in the brought in the open air if the person is unconscious seek emergency medical care now the reducing property of carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is a strong reducing agent it reduces heated oxides of metals such as zinc iron and copper to produce the respective metals and carbon dioxide so carbon monoxide being a strong reducing agent it can reduce oxides of metal such as zinc oxide iron oxide or copper oxide to produce respective metal and carbon dioxide say for example if you take iron oxide and react with carbon monoxide it can reduce to iron and carbon dioxide similarly zinc oxide can reduce to carbon monoxide to form zinc and carbon dioxide and lead oxide can reduce uh, can be reduced to lead and carbon dioxide because of its reducing nature carbon monoxide is used in the extraction of metals from their ores now today's assignment assignment 1 what is carboxyhemoglobin question number 2 define asphyxia question number 3 why is it not safe to sleep in a closed room with coal burning in it what are the common symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning and question number 5 write balance equation for the following equations carbon monoxide reacting with iron oxide and carbon monoxide reacting with zinc oxide complete this assignment and